yeah. First off, just want to take all the subscribers. Appreciate you guys. Much love. Today, I want to talk about a classic character in uh, the hood drama genre of movies. And uh, that's going to be Doughboy from Boys in the Hood. Now, I think he's one of the most tragic figures that I, I've ever seen in movies. For real, like, I, I felt bad from him from beginning to end. From beginning to end, it's like, as soon as you meet him, well, not as soon as you meet him, but when you meet him first, you know, him and little Chris are walking and, and like, it's not it's not too bad. But when you see his household for the first time, man, it's fucked up. Like, his mom is just talking shit to him. You ain't shit. Like, just talking a gang of shit. It's just like, damn, let the little motherfucker chill. Like, he, he wasn't... He wasn't bothering anybody. He wasn't doing anything. She's just right there just going off on him. Just talking a gang of fucking shit to him. And he's just a kid. So I just think about that. Like, man, this kid went through some heavy-ass emotional abuse. His, his Probably his sense of self-worth was diminished by the time he was a fucking kid. He, 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 she, his mom told him he wasn't shit. That's going to stick with you. That, that's going to stick with you like a motherfucker. So from the bat, you know, off the bat, she, she told him, you ain't shit. So he's going to think he ain't shit, right? What makes it worse, in my opinion, is the fact that she showed Ricky so much love. And uh, I forgot to mention, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen this movie, I apologize. We're going to go into some just, just, uh, uh, most of the storyline here. So, uh, yeah, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the movie, uh, I suggest you, you know, check out the movie, then come back to, to the video. But yeah, so uh, moving forward, she treated Ricky so fucking well. She praised Ricky. It's like some she did a lot for Ricky, and Doughboy didn't get shit. He didn't get shit, man. And even when he got arrested, you know, him and little Chris got arrested. She it just seems like she didn't really care. It was it just seemed she, he was more of a burden to her than anything. Where Ricky looked like he was the treasure of the family. Doughboy was definitely the burden. When he gets older, you could see like he's torn. He, he's, he's a real, like to me, he was a real trippy character. He was, and I think Ice Cube played it fucking tremendously. Probably Ice Cube's best acting role. Um, for Like to me, I, I just thought like well, I, I, out the gate, he came out like, damn, that, that's a dope ass performance. It really was. Cause you could see he goes, I can't read. I ain't no fucking criminal. When when they're having the barbecue when he gets out, like to show like he he's more than than uh, uh he's more than just in his mind he's more than just what the streets make him out to be, right? So he plans on staying out and and it just things are crazy, right? And you could just see throughout the film, you could just see through him being torn down. Or, or, or yeah, torn down more and more by his, by his mom, by society. Nobody give a fuck about Doughboy, man. So I could understand his animosity and why he acted the way he acted. Um, and it was just it, it was a trip, man. And and he didn't have like a major. It's crazy because he didn't have a lot of screen time. But what he did have, it, it's kind of like he stole a lot of those scenes. He he stole a lot of those scenes because the movie was mainly about Trey. Right, and then Ricky is a, like a secondary character. Trey actually in Furious, Furious Styles, were the uh, uh, the main characters, and then you had Ricky, and then Doughboy. But when he was on there, he he stole the scenes, and you can see how like even when the recruiter came, <laughs> he had more sense than a lot of the people there too around him. That 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 was a trip too, because when the recruiter came, and he dropped by the pad. Uh, and they were like, I played ball. And he's like, ain't nobody fucking talking to you guys. Like, he knew, how, like, he he kind of, and that's the sad part, too. Actually, if you think about it now, I, that, that is the sad part. Because his friends still had, like, hopes and aspirations where, hey, maybe we could make it. If Ricky's making it out the hood, maybe we could make it out there. But Doughboy kind of chalked it up like, dog, that ain't going to happen for us. That, that shit's not happening here. Like, stop wasting this man's fucking time. Let him go in the house and talk to somebody who really has a chance. That's a, a sad, sad situation. Really sad. And there was a deleted scene that I want to share um, in in the movie, which I thought was 
a trip because uh actually before i get there let me just run it down real quick one of the saddest parts i think too is that before ricky gets killed what ends up happening all of that animosity and hostility that doughboy felt i think towards his mother and it's crazy because when when you're I don't know, when, when you're from the streets, you can't go off on moms like that. So Doughboy couldn't, he couldn't take that aggression out on his mom. So a lot of that aggression he had, a lot of that hostility he had, he aimed it towards Ricky. And he looked out for Ricky growing up. You know, when Ricky got his ball stolen, Doughboy got it back and took an ass whooping for that shit. So there was a lot, a lot of tension and animosity that came to a boiling point. And unfortunately, it came to the boiling point right before Ricky got killed. And after he gets killed, the, the mom kind of blames Doughboy again. So I'm telling you, it's, it's a fucked up thing, man. And this scene was deleted. It was a deleted scene, but I think it's a real powerful scene. So I'm going to go ahead and share this right here. I'm with Trey. About Rick, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry about your brother, Dad. Yo, Trey! I said he can't come out now. What's up with you? What's up with me? What's up with you? What you getting ready to do? I just think I'm getting ready to do. I think you're going to go do something very stupid, something you're going to regret, Darren, and I don't think it's going to make you feel any better. If that's what you think, you're wrong. It's not going to make you feel better. It's going to make me feel a lot better. Darren, it's not going to make you feel better. Come here, man. I wanna... Darren, that's just what they want you to do, man. Who the fuck is they? Yeah. He slams the door. So you can see right there, there's a few things. Our first, Furious. I love the scene, even though it's real short. Because at first, Furious is like, hey, you're not going to take my son. Nah, you're not going to take my son. Then he kind of wonders, like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, Doughboy? And he kind of sees him, like, he sees the kid that he is. Because Doughboy's still a kid in this movie. He's still a young man. He, he, he He's... And Furious is older. He's an older cat. So he's like, nah, what are you going to do? And Doughboy doesn't want to hear that shit. He's like, man, fuck that. He's mad. And he tries to talk some sense into him. Like, dog, don't do this. You don't need to do this. And um, he walks away and he tries to one last attempt to get Doughboy's attention. That's what they want. And then Doughboy, all the books he's read, everything he's been through, and he answers with, who the fuck are they? Like that knowledge still hasn't seeped in. He's still a young man. He's still really young. Everything he's been through. He had to grow up fast. But even then, he's still a young man. So like he's still young. He still has a lot to learn. So much to learn. And uh, unfortunately, he never gets that opportunity. He goes to the... Uh, uh, the drive-in or the drive-through catches, you know, they're gonna looking for for cats that did that to 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 Ricky. They end up spot, spotting him at a burger joint, and it's a trip because uh, what's name Dookie was it Dookie? He fucking let them have it, ta ta ta. Like he he let them fools have it, sprayed them. They could have been gone right there. Like they're fucking, they're gonna bleed out. They're gonna bleed out because they got hit heavy. But that wasn't enough for Doughboy. Doughboy jumped out the ride. With all that anger that he's been holding inside for all those years. The anger of losing his brother. The anger of life just shitting on him. He jumps out. And he walks up to them. And what the fuck did they say in the car? Like, this motherfucker's crazy. This fool's tripping. Like, they're, they're worried about getting caught. Like, damn, what are you doing? Like, they're putting in work. They're doing what they had to do. But they want to bounce. At that moment, Doughboy did not give a fuck what was going to happen to him. He just wanted that retaliation. He just wanted to take out that aggression on somebody. So what does he do? Boom, boom. Lights one foot up right away. And then when he gets to the next one, turn your punk ass around. He wants to look him in the face. He's like, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I don't think he did do it, right? It was the other cat. One of the other cats that got killed right away. Uh, which was interesting too because he has no idea who pulled the trigger. He has no idea who did what. But this is the last guy. So he's going to get something out of him and he fucking lets him have it. They jump back in the ride. So if they would have ended it there, it would have just made uh, Doughboy look like a, a a monster, right? Like this fool was fucking nuts. Like he would have looked like a, a 
like old dog from Menace of Society. But what I love is at the end of that, they humanize him. And you could see like, it's sad, man. He's talking to Trey and he's like, I my brother's gone. And Trey's like, you got one more brother here. And it's, it's, a, it's a dope moment, touching moment of the film. And then unfortunately, Doughboy's gone. You know, Doughboy passes away shortly after. And it's, it's a, you know, it's, like I said, he doesn't have that much screen time. If you think about it, if you watch the movie, there, there, are, he, there, are, there aren't that many scenes with Doughboy. But he steals the show. And, and he's a really relatable character, especially for cats that have been on the streets. Really relatable character. Uh, I don't know. I I um, I know for a lot of people, I I probably gave them hard times because they're like, ah, they're a psycho or they did this or that. Uh, when it comes to the characters in movies, but I think this was written. A, it was written differently for him. It was written in a way where they really humanized him. Right? He, he didn't he didn't leave and die because of his hubris. It was kind of almost like it was destined to happen. I, I can't see any other way that Doughboy escapes this life. With the mentality he had there, so it's a really tragic story. Uh, but yeah, that's what I, that's what I think. That's that's my opinion of of Doughboy. I'll get more going. I if you guys haven't checked out my other ones, go ahead and check out uh, the other opinions I have on different characters. Uh, it's gonna be on my playlist. Uh, I am uh, my playlist. IMO in my opinion. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Let me know uh, who else I should do one on. Uh, much love to the nasty crew. Much love to my Y babies. With that, we out. Peace.